What it is, man. It's your boy Standout Nas, man. We back with another video. Um, I told y'all, man, we been real consistent, man. Before we get started, though, go ahead and like and comment, subscribe on this video. If you rock with me, let's get it. What it is, man. What it is, same game, man. We are on episode six or seven. I forgot what it is, but from the title, man, you could tell. I told y'all. This strike is going to be everywhere by this summer, man. You know what I'm saying? We're not doing none of those turns. I know y'all missed the truth of drink with the shorties and all that, but sometimes you got to get real with life. So just know our cool videos coming and all that. You know what I'm saying? All our brand fashion videos, anything about fashion tips, we getting there. We getting those soon, too. But before we get to that, I feel like I got to talk to y'all about getting yourself correct first because you got it all starts in here like I told y'all. But what I want to talk about um, is nobody owes you nothing, bro. And, and and I know, is especially as men, bro, we be feeling like we got it. We feel like the world is against us, you know what I'm saying? And I be feeling like, we feel like it's no help or, or like nobody out here to get us or stuff of that nature. Hold yeah, up. back to what I was saying, man. Nobody ever come save you, bro. Um, And uh, I, I, I always wanted to tell y'all this one time because this is what made me actually understand that because it's a lot to, it's a lot for somebody to say that, but it's not that good for somebody to understand it. Well, not good, but... You have to really feel it. You feel what I'm saying? Because, like, i never forget, bro. I was in college. This was, like, freshman year. And if you've ever been in college, um, you know, your parents be good with you the first, probably, like, what, the first first semester they'll rock with you, you know what I'm saying? But then they'll be like, all right, it's time for you to grow up. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I was already forced to grow up a little fast, a little early hour, because I was basically thugging by, like, 17, 18. I was already, like, thugging on my own. Like, I was already having troubles in the crib. I was already having troubles in the crib and all that stuff. So I was already, I was already knowing like, damn, I know I don't want to be here. That was the main reason I even got to college, I think. Cause I was like, bro, it wasn't, it had nothing to do with studying or grades or anything. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said I don't regret college either though, because it was, it was an experience. You know what I'm saying? The experience helped me get where I really needed to go. Um, my homie said, my homie's talking some you up ugly man, bro. Don't ever take me no, no diddy, bro. Fuck wrong with you, nigga. But no, <laughs> but nah. So like, basically, man, me going to college, um, it kind of I needed to get out of somewhere. I always been like a moving around type guy, you know what I'm saying? I always felt like, cause like all my life, all my life, um, you got. To, I know y'all keep seeing me do this, but I'm fine. I'm happy I have hair, bro. It's been a long, it's been a long way. My shit actually growing now, man. Braids on the way, braid video on the way, man. But let me get back to business and let me serious back up, cause that was my apologies for doing all that laughing. But I'm saying all that to say, basically, man, you know what I'm saying? I was already prepared to do something. I always wanted to do something. Nobody could ever tell me no. You know what I'm saying? So even though I knew my grades wasn't that good or whatever, but I still made sure I went to college. Somebody said I couldn't go to college, so I went anyway. So when I'm going to college, you know, um, eventually, you know, all this, your parent, your mom can't save you. Your dad can't save you, man, unless you go to college. You're just there, man. You're going off the dollars they taught you and basically stuff like that. So I never forget one day, man. I had no hot pockets. I had no fucking washing detergent, man. I had no food. I'm just hungry. I'm asking my mom. She ain't got no money. My dad ain't got no money. And I was just depressed for a day. That was the first time I ever just dropped a tear, bro. I wasn't dropping no tear because nobody did at the time. I was just dropping tear because I was depressed, broke, hungry, wanted some pizza rolls. You know what I'm saying? But that day alone made me realize, like, nobody coming to save me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nobody coming to save me. And, like, and, and, and what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, what I'm going to do. See, the average dude, you know what I'm saying? And, and this lets you know, too, it's always a cause and an effect, and it's a left and a right. See, with that information, you could have, I, I could have stayed like, oh, dang, man, I ain't, ain't nobody here for me. Ain't nobody going to help me, bro. It's just me by myself. Forget my parents. They want to wait till I get here and not help me and use that as an excuse to bullshit and be a low-life-ass dude. And to me personally, that's corny. Because they got you that far. My dad, my dad, my mom gave me enough. My, my my stepmother gave me enough fruit information in my brain for me to always make money in the first place. You know what I'm saying? So, but me personally, I don't regret that I did that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't regret that I did that at all, man. I don't regret that I did. I'm kind of glad that day happened, bro, because I feel like a beast was a beast was awakened that day. You know what I'm saying? Because if it wasn't for that day, if it wasn't for that day at all, you know what I'm saying? I would not. Y'all would not be seeing me on this camera. I lie to you not. Y'all would not be seeing y'all y'all would not be seeing me on this camera if it was not for that day because it made me start actually actually thinking for myself. I was already thinking for myself because I was already felt like I was a young adult. But as I'm older now, I know I was not a young adult. I was just a young dude who, you know what I'm saying, going through the most of a teenager. But on that day soon, 
I mean, on that day, it made me really start looking at things different. Another thing that helped me start looking at me, looking at things different that taught me um, that nobody ever going to go in to come save me. That's not a bad thing either, bro. You know what I'm saying? That is not a bad thing. Because as a man, you have to know that nobody's going to come save you. Because eventually, one day, you're going to have a family of your own. And if you will have a family of your own, bro, you have to know that you the man of this, bro. Some go down, some happen upstairs, or somebody people in your shit. You gotta go down there and go handle that bills. So you gotta handle that. Any problems, anything, car, any, you have to handle that. You can't call nobody for no help, bro. Of course you can pay all that, but as a man, you need to know. So that all go to the fact that nobody's gonna help you. Another thing, um, um, I always learned somebody told me, uh, make money for whatever you're good at. You know what I'm saying? That all 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 that all that came into the all that came in the picture at the same time and all that fell under at the same time if that makes sense like because i was thinking i'm like once when, when somebody told me to like make money at what you good at i start actually thinking because at what at one point all i did was sell herb in college you know what i'm saying i go in class once i got to play i'm leaving you feel what i'm saying like that's just how it was and i feel like now that y'all we really sitting out doing these type of videos bro y'all really understand the nigga so it's like everything that we're talking about we have to really indulge and dive indulge and dive in if that makes sense but these purpose of these videos is to let you know, bro, I'm not perfect, bro. You know what I'm saying? And if I can get this far and I'm still a work in progress, you damn sure could do it because I know you better than me. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so if you ever in your room, bro, you thinking like, damn, man, it's just me, man. And, and, and it's never just you either. It's never just you either. I promise you, bro, God would never put you in no predicament that you are not prepared for. I stamp that. I'll guarantee you. God would never put you in a predicament that you are not prepared for. I'm trying to tell you, everything has happened already. God already know that you surpassed this situation, but in the physical realm, you have to thug it. You know what I'm saying? Everything is not ever going to be peaches and cream, bro. It, 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 if it was a perfect life, somebody would have bought it already. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's really go. And everything I be talking about in all these different episodes of these videos all contradict and align with each other, bro. Because everything I'm talking about still goes back to you aligning with the plan. So as you're watching these videos, you might think like, damn, he's talking about the same shit. No, I'm talking about everything in different order and form for you to adjust to. I'm learning with you, though. Don't think you don't think I'm perfect. I'm learning with you, my nigga. I swear to God, bro. But just know, bro, it's always a way for everything. And never think like I, I know, bro. I, I, I know the feeling because I have been with my back against the wall. I feel like no, like nobody got me, but nobody is going to save you, bro. Nobody. So you need, and, and I feel like long as we keep ourselves in survival mode like that, that'll be the, that'll be the best way for you to be successful. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I look at more so when somebody helping you and save you. That's not man characteristic like type. You know what I'm saying? That's something for women. Women get saved. You know what I'm saying? Even with a bitch, I won't save her. You know what I'm saying? I save a woman, but not a bitch. But that's for a whole nother conversation, man. But um, I told y'all I don't come up here to talk y'all head off, man. These be real. Gems that I be feeling I need to tell y'all bro. So every episode of this That's what we talk about. Like I know we're gonna, we gonna get on the lit videos You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get back to the lit shit the cool shit with the shorties and all that lit Like we're gonna get to that bro. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes on STV and on, on standout nice team bro on it on this channel bro Sometimes we got to get real. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just here to show y'all cool shit I'm like I'm like I told you I'm up now I'm up now. I'm not here to just be cool with y'all all day. Sometimes I got to drop them gems on y'all so y'all can know. I would not be a real nigga if I ain't drop no gems on y'all, man. You feel what I'm saying? But gang, gang, man. I'll see y'all in the next episode, man. Squad.